should turn back until it blows over. We can't. I'm worried about Uncle Dave. Yeah, he promised to meet us back at the village. Something must be wrong. Hang on, school. Here comes a big one. I don't see nothing. You're welcome, partner. How much farther? There! The Indian Picture Rock. Uncle Dave's Lodge is right across the bay from them. Good. Now we've got nothing to worry about. Zoinks! Look at that! Uncle Dave to leave the door unlocked. Wow, look at this place. Ew, it's a mess. I knew something happened to him. He must have been eating his dinner when whatever happened, happened. Uh, no sense letting good food go to waste, huh, school? <laughs> <laughs> Probably more scared than we were. Uh -oh. Let's look around for some clues. Yeah, oh, clues. have seen something. Let's take a look. Look, feathers. Owl feathers. Scooby was right. He did see owls. Where'd you find them, Scooby? I'll show you. Dave Walton? 
the border guard. Who are you? I am Red Heron, Sakam of the Chippewa, and a friend of your uncle. We're afraid something happened to him. His cabin was all upset, and we found these outside. Feathers of the owl? We come because Gray Fox heard the owl call your uncle's name. The owl called his name? When owl calls your name, Willowar swoops out of skies to carry you away. Oh, a Willowar? What's a Willowar? A fiery flying monster, face like owl. So we saw him awake. You saw the Willowar, and one of you will be his next victim. One of us? Go before Willowar come back. Yeah, let's go. Oh, no. We're not going until we solve this mystery and find my Uncle Dave. Shaggy, I'll stay here at the cabin with the girls in case Uncle Dave shows up. And you and Scooby can spend the night on the boat to guard it in case the storm gets worse. You're not getting us to go down there in the dark with those freaky owls creeping around. And the willow. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Uh -oh. How about two Scooby snacks? Okay. <laughs> Like, stay close, Scoob. We're almost there. <coughs> so, what was that? <coughs> the Willowall. Shaggy and Scooby. Hang on, Scoop! Ah! Oh, no! Missed us. Oh, 
Shag and Scooby disappeared right around here. You girls wait here. I'll scout ahead. Daphne, look. Something scratched in the dirt. A heart and two crossed arrows. It's an Indian pictograph. A pictograph? Indian picture writing. When I was a little girl, Uncle Dave taught it to me. This is the sign for danger. Well, what's it doing here? Uncle Dave knew we were coming. I'll bet he made it to warn us. <gasps> Grandma, look! They must be what Scooby saw back at the lodge. And they're after us! Come on, quick! Fred, help! What's wrong? The owl men Scooby saw, they're right behind us. We better get moving. Come on! In here, quick! Listen. They've gone. But not for long. They'll be back. Look! All those cans of kerosene. And sandbags. What would they be doing here? I don't know, but I'll bet they have something to do with Uncle David's disappearance. Could be. But what's going to happen to us when those owl men come back? Like right, the tracks lead right to this door, Scoob. But it's locked. Do something, Scooby. Okay. Treasure cave. Treasure cave? Yeah. Like it's a whole cave full of loot. TV sets, paintings, silver, jewels. 
Aha! This mystery's beginning to make sense. Ah! <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Zoinks! He's coming back for you, Scoob! Oh, no! Don't worry. This time we'll be ready for him. Let's go. Are you two chickens coming? <laughs> They are here. Come. There's the Willowa. We've got to hurry. Where'd everybody go? Rex, they go in here. Fred! Velma! Daphne! <laughs> Zoinks! It's the war! <laughs> We're all set. I sure hope this works. mind of an international smuggling ring. We realized what was going on when we found that cave full of loot. We figured out what the willow wall must be after we found those sandbags and kerosene. Which were used for this jet-powered helium balloon. Right, and like the jet engine made that willow wall's terrible shriek. Oh! <laughs> Ray Fox took advantage of the old Willow Law legend to scare people off from his smuggling operation into Canada. That's right, Velma. Uncle Dave, you're safe. Thanks to my old Fred Red Heron, who found where Gray Fox and his owl men locked me up. Let me guess what happened to you, Uncle Dave. Gray Fox learned you were on his trail. So he sent the owl men to get you. That's why we found those feathers at your lodge. Good girl, Velma. Willowa will never fly again. Council of Elders will punish those who bring shame on tribe. When we get back to my cabin, we'll celebrate with a big feast. A big feast? Oh, tell us more, Uncle Dave. Tell us more. My stomach is all ears. He's called my name. Oh, Scoob, you're not gonna let a little old owl frighten you, are you? Little owl? <laughs> <laughs> That's the 
first time I've ever seen a chicken turn into an owl. <laughs> We're about to enter the Hurricane Eye any second. Position, center of Bermuda Triangle. It's weird how quiet it is in the eye of a hurricane. Look! Dead ahead! What is that? I don't know. Pilot to base. This is incredible. A huge, unidentified flying object coming straight at us. It's... Weather I won. Continue message. Weather I won, come in. Weather I won. We've lost all contact. Dr. Grimsley, what happened? I'm only a weather scientist, Captain Harris. What do you think? I don't know, but with your permission, sir, I'd like to fly out there and find out. This is the life, sailing on the warm waters of the Gulf Stream. With plenty of good music. And like a teensy weensy snack to fight off seasickness. starting to blow pretty hard. Wow, look at those dark clouds. A big storm's coming this way. Right, Velma. We'd better head in. We interrupt this program for a news bulletin just in from Miami. A hurricane hunter plane has disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, uh, disappeared? Yeah, school. Ships and planes have been disappearing in the Bermuda Triangle for years. Ships and planes? And the storm is blowing us right into it. Mm -hmm. Hang on! It's getting worse! We're ready for anything! We are! Look out! A monster wave! <laughs> You two, get the mainsail down. I'll get it. I where it's calm. But we're still in trouble. We could drift like this for days. <laughs> like we're saved. It's a plane. It's a plane. I see it. Help! 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 Look down here. <laughs> it's no use, Scooby. They don't see us. We're too far off. Hey, what's that? <laughs> it's a flying saucer! It's a flying saucer? It's heading for the plane! Sheepers! Did you see that? I'll bet that's what happened to the weather plane. <laughs> and maybe that's what's gonna happen to us! <laughs> Let's get moving! Yeah, moving! Without a mast? Like we gotta do something, Scoob! <laughs> Oh, 
Thank heavens we're safe. You call this safe? She calls this safe. <laughs> Shipwrecked on an island in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> According to this map, it's called Diablo Island. And you can relax, Shaggy. It's deserted. Oh, so there's nobody around but us. Ooh, it sure gets cold on this island. Yeah, we need more firewood. Shaggy, Scooby, see what you can scare up. Did you have to say scare up? We're plenty scared already. Come on, fellas. Do it for a Scooby snack? Like, no, no way. way. Huh? Huh? How about two Scooby snacks? Oh, OK. Three Scooby snacks? <laughs> 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 Let's go. Okay. <laughs> On this island. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, school? An old man. Only one eye and the beard. <laughs> what did he say, Scoob? Get off this island. <laughs> get off, or the skeleton men will get you. Skeleton men? This island is haunted. It's haunted? I know it! I know it! Take your boat and go! While you still can! <gasps> he disappeared! Like you heard what the man said, let's get off this island while we can! Yeah. Hold it, you two. You're not leaving. Thelma's right. Because we could be right on the verge of solving a great mystery. The riddle of the Bermuda Triangle. Zoinks! <laughs> Between skeleton men and flying saucers, I'd rather not know. We'll start by searching the island for clues. Up there? <laughs> In the d d d d dark? Uh -oh. Look, like, uh, <clears throat> we'll stay here and keep the fire going, okay? That's a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, it'll help us find our way back. Let's go. <sighs> Next time we go sailing. I'll remember to bring my mountain climbing shoes. Hey, look! It levels off, like some kind of field. It looks like an abandoned airstrip, probably used in World War II for sub-patrol planes. Good guess. There's the old airstrip control tower, practically falling apart. Hey! What happened? Oh, I, I tripped over something. Looks like a smudge pot. And it hasn't been too long since it was lighted. Look, two long rows of them. And wheel tracks. Jeepers, maybe this is where the flying saucer lands. But why would a UFO need old-fashioned smudge pots to light up a landing strip? Good question. Let's check out the control tower. This is all modern equipment. Direction finders, radar, everything you need to guide a plane down on instruments. But why would any plane want to land here, in the middle of nowhere? Hey, look! Those wheel tracks run right up to the side of the mountain. Hmm. We'd better check this out. Let's follow those tracks. Are you getting any clams, Scoob? Yeah. One for Shaggy, two for me. One for Shaggy, two for me. One for Boy, oh boy, <laughs> we're gonna have clam chowder. Clam up, Scoob! <laughs> Scoobman! <laughs> Like, 
Let's hide in this old ventilator. Okay. This rusty wheel might be the answer. Jeepers! The cliff's sliding open! Except it isn't a cliff. It's plaster, covering huge doors. Let's see what's inside. Jinkies! Look! The weather planes that were swallowed by the flying saucer. But what are they doing here inside a mountain? When we find out, we'll be closer to solving this mystery. Come on. Like wow, Scooby, look at that. Submarine. And the dock, Scoob. Come on. Unusual? Nope, not a clue. I wonder if the radio still works. Good thinking, Daphne. This is Weather I-1 calling Weather Base. Come in, please. Weather I-1 calling Base. Weather I-1? Yes, sir. With good news. Your planes didn't crash. What? They're here on Diablo Island, inside an underground hangar. I'll notify the authorities. Stay put until we get there. That's funny. It looks like somebody's repainting the plane. Now this mystery is starting to make sense. Come on, let's keep looking for clues. Let's look in here. A dead end. It's filling up with water. Oh gosh, we're trapped. Like, how lucky can we get, Scoob? We'll be safe from the skeleton man in this sub. Zoinks! <laughs> 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 like, what's wrong, Scoob? Relax, Scoob. <laughs> it's only a little bird. A little bird? <laughs> 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 the scales are 
Zoinks! They're here! We gotta hide! Come on! What's up? Why, that's crazy! A submarine with a skylight! Yo! <laughs> Quick, hide in there! Okay. Zoinks! Itself. And what about the ladder? Somebody saved us. And I think I know who did. Look, a submarine. Come on, let's investigate. Hey, excuse me. Like, who are you guys? Come on, speak up. I can't hear you. I gotta go. Nice talking to you. Zoinks! <laughs> like what happened? What's that weird sound? Look! The flying saucer! And now it's gone. Jeepers, what's that? But we're Shaggy. There he is. Help! Help! Somebody save me! I'll save you, Shaggy. Hey, Scoob, over here! Give me a hand! Right back, Scoob. Those skeletons almost got me. I've got an idea. Like faster, Scooby, faster! Those guys are gaining on us! Do something, Scooby! Hey, Shaggy! Scooby! This way! Not bad. Three fish with one hook. Over here, Fred. Yay! We got him! Quick, the captured airmen are tied up in the sub. Like we gotta get him. Come on, Scoob. Okay. Yay! Uh, mm -hmm. The old sea dog! <laughs> well, you chickens can stop running now. Are you kidding? That old sea dog is after us. We gotta hide. The old sea dog's on our side. Like, huh? On our side? You're very smart, miss. I'm Commander Stern, United States Navy Intelligence. Navy Intelligence? Hmm. We figured you were the one who saved us from that flooding dry dock, Commander. Thanks. And the Navy thanks all of you for solving this mystery. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, but do you mind running through it once so Scooby and I understand what was going on? It was all a plot to take advantage of the mysterious Bermuda Triangle legend about disappearing ships and planes. The saucer was a fake, a holographic image projected onto the clouds by the submarine to make everyone think the planes were being swallowed up by an unidentified flying object. Then the planes were flown on remote control to the island airstrip where the thieves were repainting them to sell them overseas. Let's see who these skeleton men really are. Why, it's Dr. Grimsley, the head of the Weather Eye Project. The one man who always knew when the planes would be flying. The Navy is eternally grateful for what you have done. Oh, it's nothing. Now this is what I call traveling home in style on a Navy submarine. Look, here come the chow hounds. What is that? 
I'm like on a submarine. What else? A submarine sandwich, huh? <laughs> no, that wasn't very nice, Scoob. We're supposed to share things between us. Now, what are you going to give me? Professor Kruger sure must want to see us badly to fly us all the way to the North Pole. I wonder why. I don't know. He said it was too important to tell us in his cable. <laughs> Zoinks! Look down there! <laughs> what? Scooby. And the biggest I've ever seen. Let's take a closer look. Yo! There it is. The Eskimo village where Professor Kruger is waiting for you. You'll need your skis to get through the snow. Right. And thanks. Let's go. Come on, Scooby! <laughs> We'd better split up and search the igloos. Hey, you go inside, Scoob. <laughs> I'll stand guard. Uh-uh. You go inside. Hey, you say something, Scoob? <laughs> Speak up, Scoob. I... Yo! Run for it! Fixing dinner. It's still warm. Whoever it was sure left in a hurry. Maybe we can pick up their trail. Come on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Yuck. Pull it. Shaggy? Shaggy? Hmm. Yeah. You mean, you saw 
a giant paw print? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, Scoob? Right there. We better take a look. Jeepers! Whatever made these prints must be 50 feet tall. Oh, no! Like the monster's coming after us! That's the one with the dog sled. Dog sled? <laughs> village. What are you doing here? We're friends of Professor Kruger. Where is he? The snow beast carried him off. Snow beast? Hmm? It smashed our igloos and drove off my people. But what is this beast? Why did it attack? Our ancient legends say the great beast comes to life when man invades the sacred lands of the north. C -c -c comes to life? The great beast was angered when we built our village on sacred land. Now we must go, or the snow beast will destroy us. Jeepers! You must go, too, before the snow beast comes back. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's get out of here. Not so fast, Shaggy. I know, I know. There's, There's a, a mystery, mystery to solve. Oh, boy, like I knew you'd say that, Velma. I am going to go to Igloo. Uh, just a minute, Chief. Where did the professor have his headquarters? In Quonset Hut. There. Thanks. I think we better check his hut for clues. Anybody home? Cheapers. Sorry, mister. The chief told us we might find out what happened to the professor if we... The professor is gone. Another victim of the snow beast. All that remains is our work. Who are you? I was his assistant, Jean-Pierre Baptiste. I must go now before the creature comes back. I recommend for your own good that you leave at once. Hey, hey can't you tell us? Not exactly the friendly sort. <sighs> Come on, let's check out the hut. Keep searching. There must be some clue to tell us why he sent for us. Food? I think I found something. Gee, it looks like a drawing of those totem poles we saw when we flew in. Exactly. And I'll bet that's what the professor saw when he... I like, see who that is, Scoob. Okay. Ah! It's for you. get the chief's dog sled and go after him. Right. It's our only chance to save him. Scooby, take charge of these dogs. Jeez, that's weird. 
weird. Hmm, how could a totem pole possibly have... The Snow Beast! Run for it! She thought him out. Yeah. <laughs> We'd better hitch up again and follow that snow beast before his tracks are covered up. We've been following these tracks for hours. Look, the tracks lead into the ice cave. Hey, this must be his lair. Come on. Uh -oh. Like, suppose he's hungry, Fred, and thinks that we're p people burgers. That's ridiculous, Shaggy. This is our only chance to save Manook and the professor. Let's go. Gosh, this cave goes on forever. Watch your step. This ice is really treacherous. that ice up there, maybe we can climb out. Terrific, Fred, you did it! You're the lightest, Scoob. Shinny up that rope and then tie it real tight for the rest of us. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, uh. Come on, Scoob, will you quit crawling? Oh, 
chances to find another way out. Let's go! Look! Zoinks! The eyes of the monster! Relax, Shay. It's just a pair of lighted tunnels in the ice. That's strange. What would electric lights be doing in a snow beast cave? Hmm. Okay, we better split up. Shag, you and Scooby take that tunnel. We'll take this one. Like Fred, there's no way you'll get us to go down that spooky path. No way. Not even for a Scooby snack? <laughs> Somebody must have carved these tunnels out of solid ice. Jeepers, look at this. A submarine. Hidden beneath the Arctic ice. And look at this. More black snow. Those are finally I... beginning to add up. Right. We've got to find the professor and Manook before the snow bees finds us. So far, so good, Scoob. so we can check those pearly whites of yours. Well, the one. Look. Like not bad, not bad for a snow beast your age, but they do need cleaning. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Tells me we're getting closer to. Help! What's that? Help! It's coming from in here. The professor and Chief Manook. <sighs> you found us. What happened? Uh, I, I can't remember. It's all a blank after the snow beast took me away. Like hell! Shady, Scooby. Where have you two been? Oh, oh boy. Like, don't ask. Come on. We've got to get the professor and Manuk back up to the surface. We made it. Now all we have to do is capture the snow beast. <laughs> like, is that all? If someone could just lure the snow beast onto this patch of slippery ice, he'll be helpless. Any volunteers? Way to go, Scoop. <laughs> thought a hidden oil derrick and the snow beast was a mechanical monster run by baptiste the professor's assistant once we put the clues together it was really simple baptiste came across the black snow while doing research for professor kruger and he realized there was a huge oil pool there and because it was on eskimo land he took advantage of their legend about the snow beast to scare them away then he and a driller from the Alaskan pipeline built the derricks during the night. 
disguised them as totem poles and began smuggling oil out beneath the ice in converted submarines. Like the professor became suspicious. So Batiste carried him off with his snow beast and locked him up, just like Chief Manuk. And I would have made millions if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. We're ready to take off. Where's Scooby? I uh, like he's fishing. <laughs> I got a plane. She swore she would when they burned her at the stake 200 years ago. Stop babbling, you fool. Who has risen? Melissa Wilcox, the witch of Salem. There's the sign, Old Salem. Gee, I sure hope Arlene is all right. Didn't she say what was wrong, Velma? She started to, but the phone line went dead. It was something about Salem and the old family home she just inherited. Like, remember, it's Halloween, and Scoob and I want to go trick-or-treating, right, Scoob? Yeah. First, we'll help Arlene, and then you two can go trick-or-treating. I'm all set to bag a few treats, Scooby. Me too. <laughs> you think it's big enough? Uh-huh. <laughs> Over this way, sir. I saw it plain as day. If this is some kind of joke, Mr. Mooney, the graveyard's getting a new caretaker. Do I swear to you, squire? <laughs> Tate's preserves! Tis the witch of Salem indeed! <laughs> revenge! I'll have my revenge! <laughs> Mooney! Hurry! Round up the town selectmen for an emergency meeting! Yes, Squire. <laughs> Arlene's house should be right along here. There it is. The Wilcox home. Jeepers, what a spooky place! Ooh, what's that? Go back! This place is accursed! We're looking for our friend, Arlene Wilcox. Go back. She's been possessed by the Witch of Salem. Witch of Salem? Go back, I say. We're not going anywhere until we see Arlene and find out what's going on here. You fools, you'll be struck down by the witch. All the place 
places to go on Halloween. We had to come here. <laughs> Nobody home. Let's go. Not so fast, Shaggy. Oh, thank goodness. It's you. Come in, quickly. What's wrong, Arlene? A man out there warned us to go away. He said you were a witch. Yeah. I know. That Squire Marley, one of the town leaders, says he saw the old witch of Salem rise from her grave tonight, and he swears she looks exactly like me. So he thinks the witch has possessed your body. Is that it? That's right, Thelma. You see, I'm a direct descendant of that poor old woman that they burned at the stake two centuries ago for witchcraft. B burned at the stake? Oh? And it's said the witch will seek her revenge tonight. Don't worry, Arlene. She won't do anything now that we're here to help you. Thanks, Fred. Now let me show you to your rooms so you can unpack. Uh, if any of you are hungry, you'll find some snacks in the refrigerator. Snacks? Refrigerator? <laughs> A surprise, Scoob. A surprise? Yeah, a Halloween costume for trick or treating. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now close your eyes and I'll put it on you. Okay. Keep them closed, Scooby. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> I'm a witch. Scooby, how do you like being a, oh, a witch? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, we saw a witch! <laughs> and she looked just like Arlene! So it's true. There is a witch who looks like me. Look at this. Jeepers, some kind of liquid is eating away the carpet. This might just be our first clue. Zoinks, right there she goes. <gasps> She's heading for the graveyard. Come on, everybody. We've got to go after her. Like, no way, Fred. <gasps> OK. Then stay in this spooky old place by yourselves while we go after that witch. You'll be safer here, Arlene. And whatever you do, don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> Way to go, Scooby. Zoinks! The witch came back to get us! <laughs> Fred, wait for us! Hold it! Oh, we'll never catch him unless we take a shortcut. Come on, Scoob! I found something. A 
piece of wire? And it's hot. Hmm, that's strange. Look at this. There's a weird symbol marked on this old Wilcox family grave. Ah, it's the mark of Mormo, a witch's sign. Yeah. <laughs> The witch! The witch got me! Help! Help! It's me, Scooby Doo! Huh? Oh! <laughs> Beware! The witch has risen from her grave, and there will be evil deeds tonight. Evil deeds? Leave old Salem while you can. Like, let's take his word for it and get out of town. Yeah. We can't go anywhere until we help Arlene. And she's in real danger. I've got a hunch we can solve this mystery if we find out more about the old witch of Salem. But how are we going to do that? By checking the records at the Salem Witchcraft Museum. Come on. Witchcraft Museum? <laughs> to save Salem from the witch's vengeance. The witch, 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 Since the witch has taken the form of the Wilcox girl, we must seize her at once and make her confess. Come on, let's go, come on, 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 let's go. This is it, the Witchcraft Museum. Those are the stocks where they punished people for breaking the laws. And that must be the dunking stool. Dunking stool? That's Keep how they dunking her underwater until she admitted she was a witch. Jeepers! Who wouldn't confess if they were dunked like that? Let's check out these old books, Fred. Maybe they'll help us solve the mystery. Like, relax, Scoob, she's only a dummy. A dummy? Ooh. 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 <laughs> 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 Hey, look at this! It's the same symbol we saw on the Wilcox grave. And the book says, this is the sign of Mormo. It will keep a witch from rising from her grave. If that's what it's supposed to do, it sure didn't work tonight. And look what I found. The Wilcox family record. It has the family tree for generations. And look here. When it comes down to recording Arlene's birth, it just says Gemini and everything else is blotted out. Like maybe Gemini's her birth sign. I was born under a hospital sign myself. Huh? Hospital sign? <laughs> Get it? Arlene can't be a Gemini. They're born in the spring, and Arlene's birthday is in October. Wait a minute. Gemini, it is a clue. Of course. That and the ink blot. We've got to talk to Arlene, and then we'll head for the graveyard. The g -g 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 graveyard? graveyard? Right. The only way we'll solve this mystery is to trap that witch. Uh, like Scoob and I will meet you at the graveyard. We, 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 we will? This is our chance to do a little trick-or-treating, Scoob. Oh, yeah. Okay, meet us there in an hour. People of Salem, the witch has taken the form of the Wilcox girl. We must stop her at once before she wreaks her witch's vengeance. Are you with me, men? Yeah, Who is it? Gar Mooney, let me in. 
What's wrong? Squire Marley and the citizens are coming to make you confess you're a witch. You must leave at once. But I'm waiting for my friends. They're helping me. There's no time, girl. The mob will be here any second. Run for your life. Like you take that side, Scoob, and I'll take this one. Okay. Trick or treat. Out you go for the night, sweetie pie. Strange. The front door's wide open. There's trouble. Come on. Arlene? Arlene? She's gone. What could have happened to her? I don't know, but we better head for that graveyard right away. There's the witch! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Like, what's going on? Help! We've got her now! He'll never escape! Shaggy! Scooby! They're after me! They think I'm the witch! Zoinks! Mike, let's get out of here! Uh -oh. Saints, preserve us! The witch turned herself into a dog! A dog? <laughs> uh -oh. Not me. Seize the witch! Help! Off to the witch, the witch confess! Poor Scooby. They think he is me. Like you better meet Fred and the others at the graveyard and tell them about Scoob. I'll try to rescue him. Okay, Shaggy. To the museum! To the best! We'll find the truth! Yeah. Come on, let's go! Yeah. Come on! Shaggy! One of the witch's unholy helpers! Get him! We'll teach you to be in league with a witch! Help! Looks like Shaggy and Scooby haven't arrived yet. Oh, you know those two on Halloween. They're probably having the time of their lives. Confess, witch! Tell the truth! Come tell on, the truth! Come on, tell, tell, the, tell the, truth. the truth! So you still refuse to confess to witchcraft? Mike, he's no witch, he's a dog! You take us for fools? We know a witch's ways. Lower the ducking stool! Over here. Arlene, what happened? A mob came after me, and they've already grabbed Shaggy and Scooby. What? They think they're witches. Help! It's Shaggy. Wait, they've got poor Scoob at the Witchcraft Museum trying to make him say that he's a witch. Wait for us here. We've got to rescue Scooby. One more chance, witch. Confess! Mike, this better work. Get ready, Velma. Again! I must save my sister witch. Oh, glory be! Another witch! Oh, witch I've never oh, no. seen a whore! Like it worked! Like it worked! We saved you, Scoob! Yeah! <laughs> We're not safe yet! Come on! There they go! After them! Hurry, Fred! That mob was.
wasn't far behind us. Shaggy and Scooby are keeping a lookout for them. Look! Here comes the witch! Hurry! Help me cover this hole. The witch is in for a surprise. Zoinks! Oh, oh. over here! It's the mob! They're coming after us, Scoob! <laughs> like we gotta warn the others! No, no, don't! <laughs> that did it! Help! Jeepers! We got her anyhow! Come on! But, but that's impossible! Look at her! She's exactly like me! Two witches? No, not even one. You see, the witch isn't the witch at all. Witch? She only pretended to be a witch to get the inheritance away from Arlene, her twin sister. Twin sisters? Twin sisters? Twin? I never knew she existed. We realized you had a twin when we found the family record that said Gemini. Which means twins. Your missing sister's name had been carefully blotted out. She planned this witch hoax to scare you out of town forever and take over your estate. And there's the man she bribed to help her. <gasps> Gar Mooney? I thought he was my friend. Not so fast, you scoundrel. This wire we found at the grave came from the wiring Mooney built to make the witch glow. And that weird bubbling stain we found on Arlene's floor when the witch ran off was acid from the battery she used for the wiring. Oh! Our apologies for what happened, Miss Wilcox. As for you two, you're going to jail. I can't thank you enough for all your help, especially Shaggy and Scooby. Say, where are those two? Like all those donkeys gave Scoob the sniffles, so I'm giving him some chicken soup. <laughs> soup? Mmm! Like, I guess I forgot to take out the chicken, Scoob. Scooby, 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 Scooby,